Today I'm in yet another industrial part of Hull to talk about this O2 Ericsson Beacon 2 high capacity street work site. It is located just behind the East Yorkshire Motor Services bus depot on Arnold Lane. Here is the site from the back facing camera of the phone and you can see it is an Alara pole with a cube shaped base which is to house all the feeders 8 per sector. There's a little GPS antenna on the top of the pole as well. From left to right there is a power cabinet, first RBS 6102, the Alara pole, another RBS 6102, the integrated services cab which will house backhaul and stuff, and then on the right is the Lancaster which will house a whole array of Ericsson radio system remote radios. Now the reason I say a whole lot is because this has GUO9, LOA, L21 for Vodafone and O2, then L26 4x4 for Vodafone, L23 4x4 for O2 and L18 for O2 so an awful lot and it does perform very very well. Here's an O2 band 21 3 3CA screenshot and you can see 123 megabits per second. I've now locked to band 40 which is happily floating about the 100 megabits per second range. Meanwhile on Vodafone I've had some very good numbers you saw 278 flash up there but quite often it's over 250 megabits per second. So how is this pole carrying so much in such a small size? Well, it has Huawei AQU quad band antennas in the shroud. These have four low ports, which just take the UGO9 and LOA, and then the four high ports all get fed into quadruplexers, which have 18, 21, 23, and 26 ports. And then these are populated with the various feeds for the remaining bands and technologies. But now let's go inside for the detailed explanation because it's both cold and very noisy here whenever cars go by and they go by quite a lot because it's a quite a busy road. Pre-Beacon 2, so in their Beacon 1 configuration, these street work sites use either a conventional Jupiter single stack or an early Alara. And these feature triple band Catherine antennas and a pair of RBS 6102s. And despite the relative lack of equipment and ports, these could broadcast GO9, L21, L08, and L18 with some limitations. And that was through having two bands in each RBS 6102 and then diplexing the L18 and L21 into the single pair of high ports in each Catherine antenna. However, in only having a single set of Ericsson RUS for the 2100 MHz, the overall bandwidth capabilities were quite limited, especially when you have to take in mind that this equipment is multi-operator radio access network, and therefore both NO2 are both sharing the bandwidth capability of the radios there. And that is ultimately a major precipitant of the Beacon 2 upgrades that this video is about. So the Beacon 2 upgrade itself features a pole swap from the old Alara or Jupiter to a new Alara complete with Huawei AQU quad band antennas inside and a GPS receive antenna at the top of the shroud. A Lancaster cabinet is also fitted which will then go on to house the Ericsson radio system remote radios for the new bands and technologies and capacity upgrades. And there is also a lot of cabling involved both inside the Lancaster and the other cabinets as well as at the base of the new Alara because there are 8 feeders per sector so that's 24 over the pole itself. An empty Lancaster cabinet inside looks like this. And you can see there is a lot of space inside despite the relative clutter here. The quadruplexers, which I will go on to talk about much more in a moment, are the white cube shaped objects and these will typically be mounted at the top of the Lancaster cabinet in the specially slotted racking that you will see. And then there are some batteries at the base. Here is a close-up of one of the Radio Design RD0799 quadruplexers which are used to combine the 1800, 2100, 2300 and 2600 into the high band feeders and ports on the 
antennas in the pole. This picture shows inside a kit out Lancaster from a Vodafone host site, which is why the tags are red. But inside these O2 host ones, it will be very much the same internal layout. While the Lancaster cabinet carries the 2100 MHz, 2300 MHz and 2600 MHz Ericsson radio system remote radios, the 800 MHz, 900 MHz and 1800 MHz will continue to be carried using Ericsson RUS radios in the RBS 6102s. And this schematic and slide shows the overall final layout for these Beacon 2 sites. So the low ports, the four of them, so two pairs on each sector are laid out very much as you would expect. So UGO9 in one pair and LOA in the other pair. And then the two pairs of high ports go out to quadruplexers. So the first pair of quadruplexers on each sector will have O2s, L18, the first L21 pair, and then the first pair for 2300 and for 2600. The second quadruplexer, because 1800 isn't 4x4, will have those ports spare, and then the 21, 23 and 26 are very much as on the first pair of quadruplexers. And just to end the video, here is a blue sky picture of one of the recently upgraded or swapped Beacon 1 to Beacon 2 site upgrades that was fairly nearby to where I shot the intro of today's video, albeit with rather nicer weather. So thanks for watching this video about the O2 Ericsson Beacon 2 upgrades, which do very substantially increase the capacity deployed onto this region's street works. And I hope to see you on the next video.